what is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club new mods, guys. But before we can get started, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Consoles. Okay, we got five new mods today. Remember, these are for all platforms and a bunch of updates. But the new mods, we got the Lizard 22F Silage Trailer, the Mower, the Amazon D860, Old and New House, and Grain Storage. For updates, we got the John Deere 7R, 8R, 8RT, 8RX 2020 Series uh, US. We got a Chronic WR500, the John Deere 6R Series, Lamborghini Nitro, uh, Cow's Barn, New Grain Storage, Package with Wind Turbines, Karcher HDS690, Concrete Silos, MRF Double Claw, the John Deere Slice Weight, then Seasons Geo for Germany, Baltic Sea, Upper Bavaria, Upper Bavaria, and Northern Ireland. So lots of updates for today, guys. Remember, I will have timestamps below, so if you guys just want to look at something, make sure you guys do that. Anyways, let's get to the first mod, and look, there it is right there. This is the Lizard 22F Silage Trailer, which is actually a grain trailer, too. But anyways, this is 15 slots, 24,500, 30,850 liters. Uh, yes, I do put the uh, slot counts on here for everybody that is on console, which hopefully with the next gen, we won't have to worry about those anymore. But look at these. These things are amazing. These are made by 4D modding. Really, really nice trailers. This is a grain one right here, and this is a silage extension. And as you guys can see, it's got the New Jersey uh, license plate on it, and it is pink. I did this just for you, Chance. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at them in the store. And oh, that looks awesome too. Look, easy way. I think this actually tells you how much is actually in there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, but where can you find this? Let's go under trailers all the way at the very end. And there we go. Options on this. You got rim color, any color, design color, any color, main color, any color. Okay, configurations, you got grain trailer, which is 26,850. You got silage extension, which holds 30,850. I think that is it on those, yeah. Then we got lizard, we got Michelin and Nokian, Michelin, I mean, and Trailborg, sorry. Lizard, you got the FL 550s, uh, the Road 385s, and then back to the 550s. Uh, let's see, Michelin, Ride Max 500, uh, Shaw 2s, Balloons 460, Cargo X Bibs. Uh, 525s, yeah, there's tons. And let's see, Trailboard, just that. Design, you have either standard, you have to add the toolbox, which, where does the toolbox go? Let's see, I don't see where a toolbox is. Oh, it's right there, there's a toolbox. You got to add easy weight, which puts that little weight thing on there. You've got all options, so I'd probably do all options. Then registration, you have no registration. You have IRL cork reg. Uh, Sponge, yeah, you know, 4D. He always has all these registrations. It's a whole bunch of Ireland's, mainly because he is from Ireland. So, wow, there is a lot. Uh, Australia, British Columbia, Mateba, Ontario, Quebec, Belgium, Germany, Germany, Denmark, France, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Sweden, Switzerland, South Africa, United Kingdom, uh, Northern Ireland. Scotland, Wales, USA, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, which is, you know, where from I'm from, uh, Mississippi, Nebraska, New Jersey, New York, Oklahoma. So, yeah. And you, also, you can put a cover on here. So, that's pretty cool. Nice, nice trailer. And the next one to go over is these right here. This is mower. Seven slots, $1,000, 1.8 working meters. So nice, and look at that, look at that rusted version. You know what, let's actually get a tractor real quick. Just get something small, like right here. So let's get this. Um, okay, let's go there. Let's go to the store, and there we go. Okay, it's right down here. I don't know if we're supposed to take this up in the front or the back, but we will find out. Well, I haven't used this vent in a while. Oh wait, no. I think I'm actually using it on my Let's Play. Never mind. Okay, it looks like I gotta hook up the other way. Okay, so let's go over here real quick. Let's hook it up. And cut some grass, see how good it does. Okay. See, look at that rusted one. That looks amazing. PTO. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and lower it. You know what? Let's actually 
turn on this just in case we have something. Lift mower. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so cut. Oh, okay, so it's it's little bitty cutter, but it's nice nonetheless. Okay, what happens when I... You can see the blade. Do not put your hand in there. Actually, that looks like a chain, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it is a chain. It looks like a chain. Okay, but there is the mower. Where can you find this mower? Let's go over to here. Let's go under mowers all the way at the very end. There it is right there. Uh, options, main color, you got grays, greens, yellows, beige, blues, John Deere green. Uh, configurations either as new or rusty. I like the rusty one though. Okay, so there is that one. The last regular mod for today, guys, is right over here. It's a really nice one too. And this is the Amazon D860. Five slots, $26,000. Holds up, I mean, the working width is 6.0 working meters. So really, really nice cedars right here. Okay, where can you find these? Let's go under cedars, all the way at the very end. And there it is right there. It does require 150 horsepower. Uh, holds up to 2,000 liters and it only seeds. No direct seeding, no fertilizer, nothing like that. Uh, options, you either have standard, you have wide tires, or back to standard. So there is that one. We also did get some placeables. The first place ball I'm going to go over, I can't actually put down this map because I already have a house, but we'll go over it nonetheless. Let's go over to here. Let's go over to farmhouses, and there it is right there. This is old and new houses, 33 to 36 slots, $100,000. We have a plastered version and an unplastered version. So really, really nice right there. Okay, so there's those. The last regular mod for today, guys, is this big thing right here. This is grain storage. 40 slots, $25,000. So pretty nice on the price. Okay, so we got like a little bit of workshop right here. Too bad there's no workshop trigger. Uh, doors. So plenty of room for your two vehicles. Does this even open too? Yes, that opens. So I can go in here. So pretty nice. Oh, and then we got like a little bitty work, more of a workshop. See, it needs to have a workshop trigger in here. Uh, I don't see where the light switch is. Is it over? Or maybe it does automatically. Oh, right here. Oh, geez, that's bright. Ow. Okay, so there is that. Does this door open too? Yes, that door does open too. So we have an upper container right here. Okay, so there. Can you actually pick up that ladder? I don't think so. No. But you can go up it and then go up on the roof. So, yep. Okay, where can you find this one? Let's go over to sheds. And then there it is right there. $25,000. And when you're placing it, it has 360 degree rotation on that one. So, really, really nice. Okay, of course, we did get updates. So, let's go over the updates really quick. And we have a lot of updates to go over today, guys. The first one we'll go over is the really big one, which is the John Deere 7R 8R 8RT 8RX 2020 US version. And this change log is pretty big. So, let's go over it. We have improvement of the 3D model, improved driving physics in the 8RX, added animation for opening doors in the 7R, 8R, 8RT, addition of cab lights, uh, joystick animations added in the 7R, 8R, 8RT, and the 8RX, addition of gearboxes, changes can be seen when selecting the engine configuration, addition of a three-point hitch at the front, adding added the lighter planes as options, adding their glazing selection configuration in the 7R, 8R, 8RT, added new wheels, Addition of the new 3D model tracks by Sin Modding in the 8RX US version. Adding new tracks set up in the 8RX. Added ladder folding animations to the 8RT. Addition of a movable seats rotating 30 degrees to the right. Improvement of the lights on the hood on the 8R, 8RT, 8RX. Improved the hood model in the 7R. Added version 350 to the 7R. Improved connection hoses in the 8RX. Adding right pipe and front and back connectors on the 7R. 8R, 8RT, 8RX, engine start animation switching on screens, addition of new joysticks and a reverse joystick, and then last but not least, the addition of additional joystick when selecting the three-point front hitch. Wow, that is a big change log on that one. So there's that one. And the next update is for the Chronic WR500. What did this do? Now requires unfolding before use and selectable body color. So that's for that one right there. And the next one, the John Deere 6R series. What did this do? Minor bugs fixed, new details added, toolbox option added, and wheel weights changed. So that was for the John Deere 6R series. 
and Lamborghini Nitro update. What did this change? New tire configurations, Michelin narrow wide, iron wheels for use in rice fields. Wow, this is amazing right here. This is made by the same maker of that one map. I think it's Ishka, Black Eyes Modding. Wow, can't wait to use this one right here. Okay, then we also have Cow's Barn update. And what did this fix? Support for manure system. That was it on that one. So if you're on PC, you have support for manure system with the Cow's Barn. Okay, and the next one, new grain storage. What did this do right here? Let's see, improved new AO and gloss texture for better lighting effects. New second version of the building, but without a protecting roof. And new two separate versions of the building, which can be used for parking your machines inside. So that's pretty cool right there. So there is for the new grain storage. Next one, package with wind turbines. What did this do? Mod sec version customized, three sizes with 20% size difference each, and ear fixed in the description. So that was for the package with wind turbines. Like I said, we have a lot of updates to go over. Next one, the Kircher HDS 690, and improvements on that improved model, new store icon. So that was for that one. The next one, the concrete silos. Uh, the change log, add a new color, and then add multi fruit version on that one. Next one, the MRF double claw. The change log on that one, color choice added, manufacturer changed, tension belt support added, and then minor fixes on that one. Okay, and the next one, we have the John Deere slice weight. The change log on that was all it did was added one more weight selection. So that was for that one. Next ones we have to go over is, of course, the geos. The first one, the Seasons Geo Germany Baltic Sea. Rugen, what did this do right here? It just says Maze Plus Support. So that was for that one right there. And then the Upper Bavaria, what did this do? Maze Plus Support. The next one, the Germany Upper Bavaria District of, yeah. What did this do? Maze Plus Support. So all three of those just Maze Plus Support. And then let's see, the Seasons Geo Northern Ireland, what did this do? Let's see, some vehicles and tools are now usable with frozen ground. Some spreading fill types, uh, fertilizer lime ETC, are now usable with frozen ground. Added support for fruits with maize plus, and then forage extension, including the horse extension. So that was for that one right there. So there is all the updates. That was a lot of updates to go over. So that is the new mods and updates for today. Let me know which one was your guys' favorite new mod or update. Mine would have to be, of course, the trailer or the John Deere's that just came out. But let me know what your guys' opinion is of that. Today's schedule, remember, 8 p.m., new live stream. So make sure you guys do definitely join us for that. But that is it. Make sure if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all day, farmers. Peace.